Hey there team, this is E with Alder Creek Kayak Canoe giving you a little tutorial today on how to do some plastic welding. Uh, this is very basic, I'm not super great at it, but things that you'll need to start off with is some sort of heat gun. Normally you'll have this on the lowest setting. Um, obviously some plastic that is used for welding. Uh, you can get these off of old boats, uh, your inside of your cockpit combing, or if you want, buy a five gallon bucket. Uh, I like using ones that I can find to be the closest to the color of the boat that I am working with. If not, then, you know, spice it up a little bit. Give, give it a little bit of blue or something in there. Uh, another thing that's super handful, handy is uh, something to kind of mash down the plastic when it's warm. Uh, we have this handy dandy kind of roller here, uh, but you can use different things like spatulas, uh, something that's obviously not plastic. Uh, because you don't want to get that to be part of your boat. Things to kind of think about when you start with a weld uh, is the crack itself, um, or in this case, I have a hole straight through this boat, um, is you want to be able to grout this out a little bit, make it where uh, the plastic will have, the new plastic will hold on to the old plastic and allowing it to actually form, kind of making it into one unit. Uh, for me, I need to fill this hole and then I have this big crack right here that I'm going to start filling and trying to make a little bit smoother. I have a big divot right there on this boat. So let's get started. Alright, so you just saw me do it really quickly, but I heated up the area. You can see how it's kind of shiny and around. It's also very hot, so you don't want to like just slam your hand on it or anything like that. But I take my welding stick, my rod here, and what I was trying to do is fill in the hole here and then bring it out and cover in the dent and crack over here as well. Um, you can see how well this matched to the actual boat itself. Um, you can still see it, but um, it kind of helps out. I also overheated my plastic on the boat a little bit, so it actually started bubbling up. As you can see, it's no longer as smooth as it once was. Um, but once I got my 
plastic in here kind of the way I wanted to. That's when I came in with the roller and I helped smooth it on out so I don't have a giant kind of booger of plastic all around my boat here. Um, obviously not the best looking, but it's going to be dry. It won't leak. Um, you can also weld this on both sides if you really wanted to. Normally I do the outside weld and then on the inside I put some sort of tape or bonding. Uh, bitumen tape is a great option for the inside of your boat or you can weld it on the inside as well. This boat already has a weld on the inside so I just had to do the outside. I also just noticed that a previous owner's weld job came off so I'm gonna kind of go over this one one more time double check that this is actually good to go and show you the process on this one that's you know welded but came off All right, got two patches on this boat now. Uh, one was a repatch, the other one was filling that hole and crack that I showed you guys. Um, we're all done now. I'm just gonna let this finish cooling. Um, right now it's cool enough to touch on both of these because I left it for a few minutes. Um, but leave this kind of for a little bit before you try and go out paddling again. It doesn't need to be pretty as long as it holds water. Um, so. Hope you all have a great rest of your day and thanks for following along with this quick little fix.